been a, a long week uh, for not only our high level fire department crews, but uh, all the some 20 odd municipalities that have arrived here to give us a hand. As of yesterday, we had 154 ground uh, structural firefighters on the ground here and over 60 pieces of fire equipment. Basically, the fire is moving uh, from the southeast to the northwest uh, of the community, which left a, a big triangle of about 6,000 hectares right on the edge of town that was unburnt. That if the wind changed, we only, we'd literally have a, a very, very short period of time to protect the community and put the community at risk. So we've been working on that plan very early in the incident with Alberta Wildfire and uh, we completed that over two days. Firefighters have been busy, now the sprinkler system is done. They were going house to house, um, taking propane tanks off of decks and removing flammable furniture off of decks uh, and closing in openings where embers could catch, making sure that uh, you know mulch is raked away from homes. Uh, and all those principles that we, we talk about in FireSmart are being done in the communities, uh, in, the, in the homes, in, in the immediate impact area, if that ever does happen. Well, I can tell you every time I walk down the high level today, I'm smiling. Um, it's all here. So, uh, you know, from the community perspective, don't worry, it's all this the same as you left it. when. We're, so uh, we're trying to keep it that way. You know, there's a, a few burnt trees on the south end of town, but other than that, everything's exactly the way you left it.